This is my family, all gathered together for a glorious day on the bay. But once again, it didn't work because we had a major boat problem. Stay tuned to see how it all went down. Hey y'all, welcome to the Sea All Life. I'm Andrea, this is Tom, and we have two pups. We're a couple of Texas transplants living the empty nest life to the fullest. For us, that's living part-time on our 44-foot Defever trawler in San Diego. Our hope is that as you join us on our dreams and adventures, we'll inspire you to discover your own. We welcomed 17 people aboard Sea Y'all. We had balloons, had a crock pot full of food, birthday cake, about a huge inflatable raft. We had the paddle boards all set. We were all ready to go. Dozens and dozens of times, back the boat up, both in reverse, clear the dock, and then I go hard to port with the starboard engine in forward and the port engine in reverse. But nothing was moving. It just kept on drifting back, turning slightly, but against the dock, not giving me a full turn like it normally does. So when you have 17 landlubbers on the boat that don't really know what's going on, I certainly knew what was going on, but um, you have about 17 different people screaming, go forward, go back, go right. Watch out for the sailboat. Go left, you're gonna hit the grill on the sailboat. You're going into the dock, back up, look out. <laughs> and a lot of other things going on, which I, blocked out most of them because I knew how close I was to the sailboat. I knew I was against the dock. I knew I had to come forward, but um, a lot of people were given instructions. 17 people to be exact. There more were 17 than... <laughs> captains and there should only be one captain at all times. And plus there were a half a dozen other people on the sailboat and on the dock. So you even had more than 17 people. It was crazy. Obviously we don't have any video footage of all that because I had to set the camera down. It was an all hands on deck kind of panic where there were people on the sailboat, people on the dock, trying to push off our 50,000 pound boat before Tom, very expertly I might add, managed to get it back into the slip. So we got the boat back into the slip and a buddy from the marina who's a boat builder said, hey, you want help diagnosing the problem? So I'm like, absolutely. Go down the engine room. We found one of the fill caps on the transmission was not screwed down. So we're thinking that could be the problem. The transmission fluid is supposed to be pressurized. So we tighten that down. We're thinking maybe that's it. But then Trevor said, hey, let's try um, the engines in gear and look at the prop wash. So Captain Tommy. Roger. We're troubleshooting the problem. Yeah. <laughs> I like how everybody's screaming at me when, uh, at the helm. I know what the problem was. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'll go soft. I'm just going to go in one direction, the same direction that I know I need. Tell me when you're ready, Trevor. Okay, I was going um, reverse on actual um, port and forward on starboard. See if you see reverse on port. Okay. It did to me. I, th I think we're going to try this again, uh, Trevor. We thought the problem was solved, so we gave it another go, and the exact same thing happened. Another doc friend with mechanical skills helped us do some more troubleshooting. At that point, I declared it was time for a dock party. We cranked up the music, brought out the food, kids were on the paddle boards, and we just had a, a really lovely afternoon celebrating the birthdays and uh, just sharing stories, having great food and drink. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Wish. Okay. Oh, COVID. <laughs> but honestly, it was really, really frustrating all the plans we had put into the day to once again have this kind of a problem spoil the fun. The crazy thing is our boat has been working just fine until we hired a new mechanic to do some preventative maintenance in the last few months. And since then we keep having problem after problem. So we called the mechanic Monday morning and he arrived 
very quickly, first thing Monday morning. So fast forward, the mechanic came over on Monday morning and we did another prop wash this time, multiple times. And it really seemed like the port reverse was not pushing water. I mean, when you put it in starboard reverse, it would pull to the starboard side. When you put it in port reverse, it barely moved, right? When you said- Well, so he was down in the engine room watching- Yeah, watching the transmission, make sure the shafts were spinning, that it went into gear, that it sounded right, that both transmissions sounded um, right. So we were on a walkie talkie with that the whole time and I was watching the prop wash. Then we said, okay, it's gotta be the prop, something wrapped around the prop, play in the prop, play in the shaft, you know. The we were hoping like a piece of kelp, a fishing yeah, line, that would thinking, be the best case scenario. Yeah, but we've had the boat out, but you never know what you might pick up, you know, at, at the very end. The next step, we called our diver to come take a look at the props. Well, it's Tuesday morning and Rosie and I are waiting for Carlos, our diver from Aravina Dive, to come and check out the props. So that's what Carlos is gonna be coming to do this morning. Hopefully it's just some help. Looks good. It's good. Yes, yeah, looking good. Same like always. <laughs> and has um, I know when we pulled it out a couple years ago, there was a lot of pitting. Has it gotten really bad, or is it still okay in your opinion? It's still okay. So from what you could see down there, there's no reason to your eye why the port side won't. Underneath. Okay. Wow. That looks good. Okay. And the starboard side being loose doesn't make sense. Yeah. So I called another mechanic that's worked on the boat in the past that I really like. We like our current mechanic too. But just to get another opinion, which is dangerous because now you're gonna get a lot of different opinions from different people. But he had a couple ideas on things that we should check that are pretty simple. As the old saying goes that we like to say, when you hear hooves at the front door, think horses, not zebras, which means think of the most simple thing first. So if the lamp doesn't work, is it plugged in? Is there a light bulb in it? Is the light bulb screwed in? That type of stuff versus trying to rewire the whole lamp or think that it's your whole electrical system. So let's try one of his theories. Let's do it. So my other mechanic suggested was the rudder in the center position. And I said, well, I always check the rudder indicator. And he said, well, don't trust the rudder indicator. Do the test where you turn the wheel hard to the left and hard to the right and count the turns. So the rudder indicator right now, which I'm not gonna trust, but let's assume it's in the center. We'll put the tape right here, so. Oh, the horns are driving us yeah. crazy. Okay, so let's count right now together. We're gonna go hard to the left. That was one and a half, two, and this is almost three. Okay, see what that is right there. Okay, hard left or hard to port, okay? So now we're gonna recenter it again. Okay, so we're back to where we think is center. So we had three hard to port, and now we're gonna go hard to starboard. That's one, that's two, and that's two and not even three quarters, okay? So you may say, well, Tom, you weren't even using your steering wheel when you were backing up. You always used just the, the props and the engine. That's true, but this would say that, oh, wait a minute, you are centered by your indicator but not really because it's not matching up. So the rudders could have been off. So the final conclusion is the, we looked at the rudder in the back. So the rudders could have been off slightly and not helping me turn hard to port because the rudder indicator is off. That would be sort of a really good case scenario, right? Yes, and then the other thing we wanna check for good measure is the actual rudder mechanism that's under our bed to make sure every all the linkage is working back there when we turn it hard to starboard, hard to port. One other thing that my other mechanic said was did the diver check the prop against the keyway to make sure it was tight, not slipping or anything else. The diver did confirm that he did that. The only thing they found, starboard prop, 
needed to be tightened, and he said only two millimeters, which should not have any play in the prop with the two millimeter tightening, but he said it needed to be tightened two millimeters. And then I'm going back and forth with my mechanics, but the, my current mechanic had a great idea today. He's like, okay, we need to put this thing under load again, put a GoPro down below and check the props to see if they're spinning under heavy load in reverse and forward on both sides. So we're gonna do that on Saturday. Plus we had the fixer coming over on Saturday to just troubleshoot or come up with any other ideas that are out there. The fixer's best, he helps us out a lot. He is, he makes us feel better. So what we're trying to avoid is hauling the boat out or digging into the transmission, which could easily cost five boat units. We're hoping for a simple fix. It's really frustrating, but it's just part of the liveaboard life. Yes, we're really hoping and praying it's nothing really major, but we'll keep you posted. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see y'all soon. soon.